the scene, but the dog survived and is currently at the Anna shelter. Fire officers believe the fire started on the second floor, but no cause was given. Fire officials are still investigating. A fire also took place at an apartment building in Warren County Friday night. Fire crews were called to Holly Apartments in the 1200 block of Conowango Avenue in Glade Township around 8.30 in the evening. As you can see, crews were met with heavy smoke and flames. Everyone in the building was accounted for. State police, the fire marshal, were called and they continue to investigate this fire. Well, the tradition continues. Hundreds of people lined up the streets for Edinburgh University's homecoming parade. The parade bringing out an array of people from alumni to community members. Our star Bodhi was at this parade and tells us more about this year's festivities. Thousands of people traveled back to their old roots for one of Edinburgh University's biggest attractions, its homecoming parade. Fighting Scots alumni came together to hear their favorites, the bagpipers. But I think for all alumni, hearing the pipe really brings back a lot of fond memories. So on, uh, whether it's a beautiful day or not so nice a day, uh, the bagpipe is kind of a rallying cry for all fighting Scots. Spectators filled up the streets to see all different floats while soaking in the excitement of the weekend. Emily Ewings is a third grade teacher at Wattsburg. She shared her enthusiasm after riding in the parade as a Golden Apple Award recipient for outstanding hard work and dedication. Absolute honor to be um, chosen as the Golden Apple Teacher of the Year. And, um, you know, I just continue to love being in the classroom and being a teacher and um, inspiring students every day. Not only does the Edinburgh Parade bring the community together, it also keeps the traditions going. I think it's really nice to see everybody from everywhere come and be at the parade, it's really nice to see everybody participate no matter where they're from. People did exactly that. They had the chance to go back in time and celebrate. Many relived the school's legacy. Star Bodie, Jet 24 Action News. Erie's public schools hosted a royal rededication of Erie Veterans Stadium. The event featured a performance by the Erie High School Marching Band, the unveilance of a new plaque marking the rededication. The ceremony preceded the Erie Royals homecoming football game, the team's first home game of the season. A new Erie Royals mascot also being introduced, Rocky the Royal Lion. You know, the district has been in fin financial crisis for the last 10 years, so we haven't been able to do a lot of uh, renovations and repairs. Uh, so getting this done really is uh, the beginning of that. Uh, it marks uh, the beginning of our $80 million uh, renovation project that, that we plan over the next three years. This rededication showcased the new renovations to the Erie Veterans Stadium and to pay tribute to our veterans. Mercyhurst University's Board of Trustees and President gathered at Ryan Hall for a special dedication. Ryan Hall's lobby is named after Richard Lanzillo in recognition of his dedication and service to the university. The new building was newly built in 2018. Lanzillo was a former chairman of the board at the university and is currently serves as a federal judge. During his time at the university, Lanzillo was a two-time president of of mercy her student government. It's, it's a recognition that's richly deserved. He has given you know, his life, he bleeds uh, green and blue, and uh, he, he's mercy her through and through. The Guinness Room in the Irish Pub was also dedicated in honor of alumni and local restaurateur John Melody. More than 40 horses were showcased this afternoon at Prescott Downs. Cantor, Pennsylvania is giving people the chance to view, meet, and purchase race horses that are ready for a second home. Trainers and owners are hoping to find their horses a suitable home for the future ahead. The track veter veterinarian was also on site for prospective buyers. To ask questions, many of the horses are also suitable for dressage, jumper, and e eventing pleasure. The event is run all by horsemen and volunteers. Uh, we come out here and they care very much about their horses when they're on the track, and so they want to make sure that they're taken care of when they're done racing. Cantor, Pennsylvania also helps network courses online that were not sold at the showcase. A candlelight ghost walk took place in Gerard's Borough Building Saturday evening. It was a spooky stroll across Gerard. Local paranormal author Stephanie Vincic guided a 90-minute lantern-lit stroll. Vincic said Gerard is one of the most haunted towns in Erie County. People that took part got the chance to stop at some of the buildings in town and learn about the ghosts that used to live there. 
But we're going to go out to the Battles Farms and look at those houses, and those houses have um, been known to be haunted for a long time. Uh, we're also going to stop at the Girard Hotel, where there's been ghosts reported over the years. More than 30 people taking part in the ghost walk. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News, we're hearing new reaction to the death sentence for the man who killed six members of one family. That's after, after Dan's forecast. Hi, Dan. Hello, Saida. Looks like some of you may be getting the first frost of the season. Temperatures are dropping already pretty cold out there in some areas. We'll take a look at your forecast after the break. The Your Eerie To Go app has a stunning new layout that gives you easy access to everything you need all in one place. See what's happening here. Your Eerie To Go, presented exclusively by Bianchi Honda. Available free in the Apple App Store and Google Play. For those who think, those who create, those who have big ideas, like really, really big, some would call them crazy ideas. For those who have been told no, no chance, and not you. Those who never miss practice, even at 6 a.m. Those who break a sweat, break hearts, and break records. For those who work harder, smarter, faster, there's Edinburgh University. For those who strive, start now at edinburgh.edu. Alexa, turn on the house lights. Now drive home in a brand new Escape for as little as $209 a month. Just $209 a month at your neighborhood Ford store. Watch Friday Night Lights Game of the Week online at YourEerie.com with interviews, info, and intel you won't find anywhere else. Friday Night Lights Game of the Week, another digital exclusive from YourEerie.com. What do customers think of their new kitchen by Klein? I love my kitchen. <laughs> Get a new Klein kitchen now with 0% no payments for a year financing. Klein Home Solutions. It's time to call Klein. See the video at KleinHomeSolutions.com. This is where game day coverage begins. The Bills head to the Music City looking for a bounce back win. The last thing they want to do is go into the bye with a defeat. We'll talk about how they get to 4-1. and one. Sunday mornings at 1130 right here on Jet 24. From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Dan Rupp, your weather authority. Hey, welcome to the weather segment. Here's your Meadville weather camera to start off looking down Chestnut Street. Storm Tracker, it's a clean sweep. There's no rain showers in the region, but something we do want to talk about is a frost advisory that has been issued for Southern Erie County and Crawford. Freeze warning for Warren County where things are going to be a little bit colder over there. You can expect a hard frost uh, for tonight. So next 24 hours for Bradford, this is what we kind of look at for the higher elevation areas. You see temperatures already uh, close to freezing in some areas, and it looks like that will continue and probably even drop uh, lower than that as we go through the night and into the morning hours. You can see by about 8 o'clock, we start to increase the temperatures and get away from that freezing point. Satellite radar, a lot of the rain and even some snow in Wisconsin is staying to our north, so we'll stay dry here thanks to a high pressure system. Uh, weather watcher temperatures 38 in Enro, McCain at 42, Corey 38, Penn State Barron at 43, uh, Niagara Pier, Dr. Tom at 45. So you get closer to that lake shore and you'll get farther away from freezing. 37 in Youngsville down to 34 in Pittsfield, 39 in Scandia and 37 degrees for Meadville. As we take a look at your, uh, well, I think it's the dew points if the slide will work. Click. Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> okay. Hey, let's, let's do it. All right. 24-hour uh, temperature change. Look at that. We have dropped in temperatures since that cold front we had this morning. And your wind's about 5 to 10 miles per hour uh, from the south. So 66 was the high. 51 degrees was the low temperature. And you can see the rainfall data. Six hundredths of an inch of rain was measured at the airport. And we are at 30.26 for the year so far. Cold, frosty night tonight away from the lake. High pressure for tomorrow. So a lot of sunshine. Then we'll have another weak cold front on Monday. Lake forecast tomorrow. Water Water temperature 64, sunny skies, waves 1 to 3 feet, south winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. This low pressure system is continuing to weaken, so all that precipitation should stay to the north for now, but 
may get some of that as we go into uh, this upcoming week. Dry air behind it. You can see it filtered in uh, as we got that sunshine over, uh, for the afternoon hours once the rain moved to the east. So as you look at future casts, high pressure tomorrow, winds from the south, so temperatures should go up a little bit. And then we have uh, some of those showers starting to move in, maybe even a little bit of lake effect starting up on Monday. And Tuesday, not too bad. It looks like we'll be dry Wednesdays when we get that next uh, low pressure system and uh, rain does look likely. So for tonight, 29 in the mountains, 41 lakeshore starlit skies with some of that frost. Any sensitive plants, bring those inside tomorrow, 62 to 66. Sunny skies and windy. Uh, gusts could be up to 30 miles per hour, 59 to 63 for the inland areas. Breezy conditions and the mountains, 58 to 62. Winds 5 to 10, gusting up to 20. Tomorrow night, 37 in the mountains, 46 lakeshore, increasing clouds with a chance of some rain showers. So let's take a look at your seven-day forecast. And uh, we do have that uh, possibility of some rain showers on Monday for Columbus Day. Slight chance of rain on Tuesday at 62. Rain becomes likely on Wednesday with that low pressure system and a cold front. Possible showers on Thursday. Friday mostly sunny and then 66 on Saturday. Check out the seven day forecast interactive radar on our app. Your Erie to go. Saida. Thank you, Dan. Here are some of the headlines in tomorrow's Meadville Tribune. Conneaut Lake Pumpkin Fest is a smashing success. Families warn of opioid treatment scam. Readers asked, did the M NBA handle China's situation properly? Check out the Jet 24 weather forecast on page two. Coming up on Jet 24, an Edinburgh family keeping a 34-year-old tradition alive in a very delicious way. If you get your flu shot through LECOM Center for Health and Aging, your copay dollars stay local and underwrite programs that benefit our community. It's Harvest Festival time at Port Farms. Gather your friends and family for a farm-tastic filled day of hay rides, corn mazes, jumping pillows, and so much more. Come join the fun September 14th through October 31st, Monday through Sunday, and closed on Tuesday. This is where your career takes an exciting turn. In the game or behind the scenes. Seneca Casinos, three of the finest destinations for play and work. Perfect for the career-minded and the goal-oriented. With all the benefits and perks you desire. Like the players say, nothing else comes close. Seneca Casinos. Apply today at thebest8hours.com. Attention seniors, have you recently become overwhelmed and confused by the mailings from Community Health Choices? Community Health Choices is right around the corner after the holidays, and if you don't make your health care choice, the state will make that choice for you. Don't give up your freedom of choice. Call Life Northwestern Pennsylvania, and a certified facilitator can help you through the confusing process at no cost to you. You may find your hometown choice, Life Northwestern Pennsylvania, is the best choice for you. That's 844-456-5433. 456-5433. Life, your only other option to CHC. The reviews are in. Cameron's new talk show is the one to watch. Taking daytime TV by storm. This is about inspiration. Oh, Cameron Hall is back in business and doing it on her own terms. Let's keep it real. Cameron Hall is speaking her truth. I am back because of all of you. And it was worth the wait. It is so good to be here. Weekdays at 10 on Jet 24. Welcome back. We're hearing new reaction to the death sentence for the man who killed six members of one family. And what was the most dramatic moment of the trial? The lone survivor talking face to face with the killer right after he learned of his fate. KTRK's Mera Morino has the details. The court sentence you, sentences you to death by lethal injection. Soon after Ronald Haskell was sentenced, the district attorney, prosecutors, and lone survivor Cassidy Stay addressed the media. I feel a lot of relief. It feels like a huge weight has been lifted off my chest, and I feel like justice is finally going to be served. Cass